This is a tutorial on how to downgrade Snapchat on an iPhone using iTunes. This method is using a program called Fiddler. The more well-known method is using a program called Charles. However, this does not work for the majority of people, depending on your network or computer. The good thing about this method is that you are installing an official version of the app. You will not need to re-sign every 7 days or pay for a signing service. Using Fiddler, we will capture a fetch packet and set a breakpoint in order to edit the version of Snapchat we are requesting from Apple's iTunes. The first step is if you already have iTunes installed on your computer, you want to uninstall iTunes. You do this by clicking the windows at the bottom left corner and then typing Control Panel. You open up your Control Panel. You go to Uninstall a Program and then you want to scroll down until you find iTunes. Right click it and then click Uninstall. Then you want to install an older version of iTunes. You do that by going to this link here at osxdaily.com. This link will be in the description. Today, I, I am using a Windows PC on 64-bit, so I would use this link. You click it, it the download should pop up here, you want to run it, and then just click through the installer and install iTunes. Or if you are on a Mac, you want to click this one. If you are on a Windows PC, but it's 32-bit, you want to click this one. Once you have downloaded and installed each of those programs, you should have something that looks like this. The first step is to open up iTunes. Then you want to go to the search bar, type in Snapchat, ensure that you are on the store tab, and then hit enter. You want to click the Snapchat icon, and you should be on this page. Now, the second step is to open up Fiddler. Move it to the side. Before we get going, some snap, uh, some people will, ha will run into encryption whenever they try to get their fetch packet. This is why Charles does not work all the time, because Charles does not have the decryption feature. In order to do that, you want to go to Tools, Options, and then over to HTTPS. You want to click Decrypt HTTPS Traffic. If some boxes pop up, just click through them and click OK. This should be the case if this is your first time using Tip Fiddler and click OK. Make sure that it says from all processes and click OK. Now the second thing we must do is to go to rules, automatic breakpoints, go over and click before request. This is to ensure that we get a breakpoint right whenever we begin to download Snapchat so we can edit it and that way we can request a version that we want. Now you are ready to click download and wait. Some more stuff should pop up. You want to click on each of them and click run to completion. Until you get to here. Now you this so then you want to look for the link that has p45 by iTunes Apple. It should be in bold. It's up here, yes, but you want the one down here. Now this might not say p45. For some people it might say p28, p35, or other numbers. For me, on my network and my computer, it will say p45. So you want to click on that. And then do not click run to completion yet, but you want to go with text view. And then you want to look for this number. This right here would be the version of Snapchat that you were downloading. Now you want to go to this link, which will also be in the description. You then want to choose the version of Snapchat that you are wanting to download. Me personally, me personally, I am currently on this version right here. If you do not want the old UI and you are downloading just to get rid of the UI, this, to my knowledge, is the most recent version of Snapchat that does not include the old UI in the files. However, I am going to be testing a new version today, but if this is your first time, I recommend using this one. So, you want to copy the link, or copy the number, and then go back to here. You want to highlight it, and replace the number appropriately. Now, what we have done, is basically in this request here, we have changed the version of Snapchat 
that we are going to download. Then you need to click Run to Completion. As you notice, Snapchat has started downloading. Sort of. Then you want to go over here and just start clicking Run to Completion on all of these. All the way to you get it right about there. It's, it's really the bold ones that matter, but you just want to make sure you run everything through completion. Now you see that the old Snapchat version should begin downloading. Once you get all these popped up, there you go. Now the old version of Snapchat is downloading. It is at this moment that you may close Fiddler. Or you actually should, you have to close Fiddler. Else more break points will start popping up. And then you wait. Additionally, you want to ensure that your phone is plugged into your computer for this next step. Once it says done, you can verify it by going over to your library. You should see Snapchat right here. And if you have an older version of Snapchat, you should have this update in red. If you have the update in red on the corner here, congratulations. You have successfully done the hard part. Now it is the easy part. You want to go over here, and you want to click Apps. Actually, you want to go back to. Ooh. All right, that's right. You want to click your phone up here, then you want to go to Apps, and then you should see something like this. As you can see, if your phone is plugged in, you should see an image of your home screen over here. And then you simply want to click install. And then down here to apply. You want to wait for this and then a box should pop up. If it does, just click. Just click either of them, it doesn't matter. If you have voice memos, the box will pop up. That will not pop up for everybody. And then you want to wait. Once you have that, you're done. And now you should have the old version of Snapchat on your phone. You can see that it is on my phone right here. And that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.